Hi guys, and welcome back to more Rhapsody and Musical Adventure with me, your host Rabbit, where we left off in our previous episode. Not really too much went down. We came back together in the village of White Snow, and we rushed off to the Tower of Ninetale in hopes of finding the young boy Albert, I think. Uh, I've just been calling him Al because I can't remember if he's Albert or Alfred. But anyway, he had come here because his mom is sick and somehow he had learned that the Thunderstone could potentially cure his mother's illness. And I'm guessing his father had also passed recently from whatever it is that's making his mom unwell. So anyway, we found him laying here unconscious, so we brought him back to his teacher slash headmaster, Gilbert, who basically was like, uh, you are stupid and now we need to go apologize to the guardian inside the tower. So we are accompanying the two of them to its peak in hopes of, I guess, getting forgiveness from it as well as it possibly having a solution to whatever is plaguing his mother. So that is where we left off. Additionally, I was, oh shit, exploring and telling you guys a story and where I specifically, oh my goodness, uh, I guess let's try this way. Oh god, guys, I really don't even know where I'm going anymore. Oh! Elixir ball. I think we've had those before. So, anyway. Um, I don't know what's up here. I guess it doesn't hurt to check it out, huh? Anyway, so I was telling you guys that my boss... Uh, that doesn't look right. Uh, fucked something up. And I explained in the last episode what the fuck. Why it is a big deal in our job that you don't fuck up. And I know it's probably the case in most jobs, like no one wants someone to mess something up, but I know for some fields, it's not as critical because it's easy to fix. Whereas, oh shit, that is not good. Okay, fuck these things. I don't really want one of these as a pet anyway. And you know what, let's see what flame looks like. So anyway, my boss fucked up and after making her gigantic mistake, oh, good job, uh, Michael, you killed him even when you were confused. After making her mistake, most people would probably just, oops, I did not mean to pause that. I'm sorry, guys. I am out of it. And it just occurred to me, Albatross is now level 17. I have not been swapping people out. Oh, those two can stay. Uh, I'll leave them in my party for now and then probably swap someone out with Caroline shortly. But how the hell did Albatross get so beefy? Level 17, I really just let everything slip away from me, didn't I? Oh, shit. Um, okay, I guess let's go back. Uh, oh, God, guys. Hmm. I don't know where I am. Uh, let me go back to where that was and just see. This is why I hate places like this. It is so easy for me. Uh, okay. I think this is where we initially came from. So let's just go back downstairs. You know what, guys? I decided during that fight, fuck this. How many teleporters do we have? Three. Well, that's enough to just bring us to the beginning because I I'm not dealing with it I'm not gonna be stuck in this place and running around for 50 million years trying to figure out where the fuck I am So, okay, let's start over. Uh, we went this way. We went this way and okay I believe last time we went to the right I think so this time we're going up uh, And this should be good unless I'm going the same way, but I don't think I am so we should be okay. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Oh, thank goodness. Well, in a way, thank goodness. At least I know we haven't been this way, so then maybe? Mm. Yay! Alright, we're going to new place, guys. New place to be, new people to see, and great. Um, let's just go up this way. Oh no. Okay. Should we just go upstairs, maybe? Guys, I'm like second guessing myself now. Um. Jeez. More stairs. I feel like we're going the direction we're supposed to, and I don't know if that's necessarily what. What I want. 
Well, let's just try it and see. Guys, I'm like so nervous now. If this is where we're supposed to be, I'll just, oh my God. Okay, more stairs. What is happening? Oh my gosh. Um, let's try this way. Or fight, whatever. Woohoo! Duke learned. I think it was Duke anyway. I'm gonna sound kind of silly if it wasn't. Oh my gosh. No, it wasn't him. Who, who learned? Oh, okay, it was Michael. Just kidding. So Michael learned a new spell. <laughs> Sorry, Duke, I was getting a little excited. Um, and it is shield break, so that is really cool. I think now is probably a good time to go ahead. And poor Billy, he's like really having a hard time over here. Um, okay, and Duke, you have had plenty of time to get to where you need to be. So, all right, let's keep on going. Oh, gosh. We will see. Okay. Guys, why do they make these places so confusing? Ugh. It's probably just to torture folks like me, but okay. So, we gotta remember that we went upstairs. Oh, jeez. Um, uh, okay, good. We found something. Nice. I'm like really nervous and anxious. Oh, wonderful. So maybe there's nothing over here. But I'm always excited to get a new illustration. I think it was 13. So let's check out that bad boy. <laughs> and this is really cute. I know I've seen this picture before. I think it is possibly also in the loading screen when we are loading one of our saves, but maybe not. Maybe I've just seen it in the past, but I think it's a really nice picture. I can just picture Cornette and Etoile at some event together, and Etoile's just driving Cornette insane. So I really like that. <laughs> it's really, really funny. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, okay. Let's try seeing what's this way. Really? Really? Uh, guys, I don't know where this is taking me at this point. I... Oh, another robes of healing. <gasps> oh, God. What could that possibly do? Restores 10 HP on every turn. Huh. Well, I don't think Cornette needs something like that. Neither would Charte. Um, it's so hard for me to know who I really want to give those sorts of things to. Uh, I guess you can have it, Tara. It doesn't really make that big of a difference to me. I think Michael's the only one who doesn't have something equipped, so I'll go ahead and give him a thinking cap as well, since, yeah, Caroline has one. It just, it only seems fair, so. So yeah, that is what we will work with and what we shall do. And yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not even telling you guys stories. Like, I'm just trying to focus so hard on which way I'm going, and I don't have that many. Okay, we came from that direction, so let's go this way. I just don't want us to be here forever because when I say it happened in the past, oh, trust me. Ooh, it legitimately was such that we were here for like maybe not three episodes, it might have been three episodes actually. It was a long ass time, that's all you guys need to know, and I just don't want to repeat of that. <laughs> but every single room looks the same, and it's hard to remember, like, did I go upstairs, did I go downstairs, like, what? What is happening? Okay, I don't want to do that. Make a save. No. I want to do holy, I think that will hit everybody. And while we're in a battle, it doesn't hurt to just go ahead and kind of explain. So, oh shit, Billy, what happened to you, my friend? You were looking hella rough. Well, this is a good opportunity to see what fire heal does. Oh, not very much. So basically, my boss fucked up, and instead of being an adult and just saying, oh shit, I messed up, she got upset at me and yelled at me in front of a bunch of people, and so I am really not one to just let shit like that slide. I'm very... I'm not rude or disrespectful. I would never be that way to an authority figure, whether it's just a boss or someone that I respect. Really? Guys, I don't think I have room. And I don't wanna accept this thing and then, 
Ugh. All right, let me just take it. If I don't have room, I don't know if I can even release it here. Uh, watch me not have any space. Hey, I actually do have space. That's fantastic. So when we leave here, I will sell it because I'm not going to use this thing. So Billy, get the fuck out of here. We'll try making this guy work. But anyway, so, you know, I am not disrespectful. I would never yell at an authority figure, be it a boss or an elder or just someone. Oh, sorry. That reaction was a little bit over the top. Who's there? Are you friend or foe? Are you the offspring of Mustaki? Yes, I am. Then die. Oh, shit. I hope I don't lose my white wing and I didn't even save. Uh, so I better move as close as possible. Please don't hurt. Oh, okay. Cool. So I'll just have Charte. Wall up you. Screw you. And where's Caroline at? Mega water. All right, let's do it. Why not? It doesn't look like he has too much help. So anyway, I was very upfront with her though, and I was like, I don't understand why you are yelling at me for your error. And basically, and I'm not even joking, guys. This is the shit she said to me. She essentially had this attitude or this mindset that. I should have looked over her stuff, even though I had nothing to do with the error that went down. You are a worthy adversary. You must be a descendant of Mustaki. Yes. Yes, I... Really, game? Oh, my gosh, guys. I lost my white wind. It died. How awful. But anyway, do you want me to join you? Yes, we do. I have no love for Mustaki, but I respect your strength and determination. I would be honored to join you. Please play your horn. So woohoo, guys. Although we lost white wind, which is really sad. I, I'm not, I guess I'm not that upset about it. I wasn't too fascinated with it. I mean, I want to have as many monsters as possible. It's nice to sell them for boodles and oodles of moolah, but meh, it is what it is. So let's quickly look at Chiba. Obviously, he is the third one of those, uh, I guess you call them armored warrior puppets. So we've got Duke, um, Albatross, and Chiba. Just like we have the three Egg Brothers, we have these three guys. So this one is Earth, and these are his stats. I've given you plenty of time to check that out. So, you know, since... Uh, Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I want to switch the order. Since we lost oh, our beloved new puppet, uh, Chiba will take, or not puppet, monster, Chiba will take his place. And I'm going to just go ahead and save. I don't want anything to happen. I don't want Chiba to get attacked and broken because I don't want to drop that kind of enodium to fix him. It's just really costly. So I don't want to try to figure out where we are again. Let's use another teleporter. And I can't keep getting in the habit of doing this because I'm running low. I might just need to buy like 10 of them next time I'm in Orange Village. So that this should be the last time I bring us outside, I swear. Uh, so let's see. Let me try to go off of memory here, guys. And then I will finish the confrontation that I had with my boss. Okay, so this was the way we went. And then obviously, gotta continue. Why is it just so hard to remember this shit? I guess it is what it is. Yay, Chiba learned a new ability, which I will just take a second and show you really fast. I don't know why, I like the name Chiba too. And he learned Senpu, which charge, I don't know what that means. Maybe it increases his attack or, or speed. I really could not tell you. Um, so okay, let's keep, oh my God. Oh my god, guys. Why? Why? Why does the game do this to me? Okay. And I think this is where we go. Oh shit. This doesn't seem right at all. <laughs> this doesn't seem right, guys. I have no idea where I am. Oh man, and we all the way back and now I feel lost uh, guys I don't know if I can handle running around blindly for 50 million years this is going to stress me out oh well, let's see I'm just looking and hoping we find something familiar like a oh my god we're back at the entrance wow okay <laughs> Guys, didn't I tell you? This happened to me last time too. 
So I really wasn't joking when I said this took me, I think it was three episodes last time. So if I can't get us to where we need to be soon, then that will run into the third episode. And I know I'm supposed to omit fights, but we've had so many repeats. I feel like I've done a lot of cutting and it will save me time in the long run to not have to edit this. So uh, we're just going to try to make this work. And I've been just spamming her meteor just to get these guys down and it's been working out great as you can see so yay good for chiba and we found an energy candy which i could give two shits about honestly okay so let's try this we'll take the stairs so as long as we're going upstairs i think we're okay um let's go this way uh fuck stairs right no maybe i don't want to fuck stairs maybe <laughs> well obviously fucking stairs is not a good idea so let's try doing it this way instead and now let's go here that might have been the problem that i looped around at that spot right there i'm thinking that is likely what ended up happening so oh fingers crossed guys fingers crossed Okay, so Caroline ended up learning, I think it was Caroline, uh, learned a new spell. No, she didn't. It was Tara. Mega Sleep puts enemies to sleep. And that's pretty useful, so I'll have to give it a go in the future. But at this point, I'm just like, where are the nine tails at? I want the nine tails. Okay, so uh, let's try this. See where it takes us. I mean, hopefully where we need to be because I don't know if I can take this anymore okay I'm thinking we're in new territory hopefully how obnoxious is this Cornette is level 35 now is that not ridiculous oh my gosh I think it's pretty absurd that she is so high in levels and part of it is because I haven't been swapping or I have been swapping puppets out oh my god which, speaking of which, let's go ahead and swap you for El Coon and... Alright, everyone else is okay at this point in time. Jeez, guys, I don't know. Dead end. Alright, well, at least that narrows it down. Dead end. Okay. Ooh! Guys, it looks like we found where we needed to be, thank goodness. So it only took two episodes, not three. That's a new record for me, so I'm pretty fucking elated about that. So anyway, when we come back on our next episode together, hopefully this means we are going to find the actual guardian. I will also finally have a chance to tell you my story, because hopefully I won't need to be running through a confusing-ass dungeon in the next bit. So, thank you so much for watching. I am your host, Rabbit, and this is my playthrough of Rhapsody Musical Adventure. See you momentarily.